So what's the best use of hashtagging and geotagging on Instagram? I get asked this question a whole lot. So I'm gonna use a very specific example and walk you through how you can kind of make these changes for yourself and your business or whatever you're posting online. The key is specificity. The more specific you are, the greater effectiveness you'll have on Instagram. So I want you to join me at one of my favorite restaurants to see what I mean. Okay, so before we get there, there are three things that I'm gonna show you that I focus on when I take photos and then use hashtags on Instagram. Now, number one, I'm gonna talk about specific geotagging locations. So wherever you are, people can actually search on location and these are searchable and yet highly targeted, a great way to get discovered on Instagram. And number two, we're gonna talk about hashtags that are related to the object in the photo. So whatever I order at this restaurant, that's gonna be the object in the photo. Number three, hashtags that are related to the subject of the photo. Now, I'm gonna take you to a vegan restaurant and before you roll your eyes and be like, who eats vegan food, I promise you, this is really good. And it's so good my carnivorous husband, who is a total meat eater, actually enjoys the restaurant too. But I'm gonna use this as a sample example to show you how I am geotagging and hashtagging with specificity on Instagram. So we just arrived to Cafe Gratitude in Newport Beach. We placed an order for some food. I'm gonna to get to explaining what we ordered and how I'll be identifying it on Instagram. But before we get there, let's chat a little bit more about what we're gonna to do today. Every time I go to a restaurant, this restaurant or anywhere else in the world, I'm thinking about two things, geotagging and hashtagging. These are two great opportunities to have my photos be discovered on Instagram. So I wanna be strategic. And the more strategic you are, you're gonna be leveraging specificity. So when it comes to geotagging, I could perhaps list that I'm in Newport Beach. Okay, but that has millions of entries in it. I could list exactly where I am, which is at 1617 West Cliff, which is an outdoor mall. That's still really big. There's a lot of places that are here. Or I can get very specific and list exactly where I am, and that's at Cafe Gratitude. So when it comes to geotagging, you wanna list with specificity so that when people are kind of surfing for that very thing, there's a higher likelihood of them stumbling across your photo. Then we're gonna be focusing on hashtags, but we're gonna be focusing on hashtags in two different ways. We're gonna be focusing on the object hashtags and the subject hashtags. We're gonna get more to that in a second when I talk about what I ordered. <laughs> we're gonna talk about more about that, about what we ordered. But basically, in a nutshell, the subject hashtags are the thing that you're talking about. In this case, this is an all vegan restaurant. So I'm gonna be talking about the vegan food that I ordered, clean eating, and then I'm gonna talk about the object hashtags. That's the thing actually in the photo of what you're looking at. So in this case, press juices, green juices, healthy bars, and acai bowls. We'll chat a little bit more about how I shoot that and then how I share it on Instagram in a second. Okay, so one thing, uh, I actually, I'm just gonna own it. I was getting too nervous and I got overheated and I was like, JD, you have to come in this video with me because I think no, I'm dying. it's like 90 something degrees today. It it's is, really hot. it is so hot in California. But we come here often for like midday breaks. It's gonna be a, a great place for us to order things. And some of the things that we ordered was an acai bowl. We ordered some juices, we ordered some snacks. And in the back of my mind, I know this is like the peril of dating something, dating. We're still dating. Yeah, we're still dating. I'm being married to somebody who is thinking about social media all the time. Is before my food arrives, I'm trying to make a list of the hashtags that I'll use. And so we're chatting about hashtags in a second. But first, we're going to get our drinks, get our food, relax a little, and then invite you on exactly how we'll be sharing on Instagram in a second. Okay, so JD brings up a good point because I um, just re okay, so as I'm looking for hashtags, I can go to Instagram and I can put in the hashtag that I'm thinking about using. So JD suggested clean eating as a hashtag. But when I went to Instagram and I searched the clean eating hashtag, it had over a million or even two million entries, which means since I don't have that big of a count, it's gonna be really hard for my photo to stick out amongst millions of entries. So instead of using clean eating as a hashtag, I just focused on a few variations that have less of amount of entries in it. And we'll chat a little bit more about why you wanna use hashtags with less, because when there's less hashtags, there's more of an opportunity for your photo to get seen. So. Instead of using, using clean eating hashtag that has over 2 million entries, I decided to use clean eating ideas and that has less than 200,000 hashtags. I like to keep my hashtags less than 200,000 so that I have a higher likelihood of getting discovered. Thanks, babe. Cool. How about any short ones? Are there any shorter ones? Uh, shorting. I feel like that's kind of long, cleaning eating ideas. I thought organic life 
That's good. See, so because if you one? have hashtag organic, so here at this restaurant, they do all organic, they do all plant based, and they do all vegan. So if I used hashtag organic, again, millions and millions of entries. Like my photo's gonna get lost. Right. But organic life has less than 300,000. And I think I wanna get discovered. And How I about think healthy choice? Healthy choice. Is that like Okay, he's testing me. I wasn't ready for this. One? Hold on. Is that a bad one? Hold I on, don't let's know. look. I'm let's coming look. up with things. <laughs> okay, let's look. How many at this point in time, hashtag healthy choice? Let's see how many there are. You got my wheels turning. I'm gonna come up with like five more. Healthy choice, want, want. 1.2 million entries. Okay. I probably wouldn't use that one. All right, all right. But we could. No, I mean, no, no. we could I get use it. up to 30 want, hashtags. You want to get something that's in the ballpark of about 200,000? Well, I always think when it comes to hashtags, the majority of the hashtags I use, I really want them to be less, ideally, less than 200 or 300,000 because right. then I have a higher likelihood of getting seen. But you never know. We could add a few of these big ones just to kind of mix it up. How about, since this place is called Cafe Gratitude, how about like uh, Gratitude for Life? Okay. Or gratitude life. Okay. Or... Okay. Well, we are going to hashtag. That's a good point. We are hashtagging where we are. Okay. So we have the hashtag for Cafe Gratitude, but we also am using the hashtag Cafe Gratitude Newport. Okay. So I can cool. be found in one of those two ways. So always um, identifying a hashtag and then finding the variation. I'm trying to win here. I'm trying to get a point on the board. Okay, wait. What was the like, one that you wanted? Uh, gratitude life. Gratitude life. This is my husband making up words and hashtags let's see if this exists i'm sure it exists but how many okay gratitude life 1250 entries so is that too small that might be a little too small okay. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the food i decided to create a really quick hashtag list and i do this in the notes app so that i can simply copy and paste and make sure that everything is ready to go and so what you'll see is a series of periods ahead of it. I just copy all of that and then I add it into a comment on my Instagram post. I mean, look at this. These this is beautiful. beautiful. There's These bee beautiful. pollen and raspberries and blueberries. Nice. I mean, this is like brain food. There's almond butter and goji berries. I mean, this Yum. is just beautiful. Okay. I wanted to get so, it first. I know, yes. All right. no, Photos. No, no, no. Shoot. Oh, this looks beautiful. Thank you. So just from a styling perspective, I don't think that this bar looks good on the plate by itself. And I really like the yellow plate. So I'm just going to aggregate my food. I'll move this plate Can you out. Take out one of those balls. <laughs> yes, I like that. Oh, actually, no. I like that. Beautiful. Cool. So we have some juices coming right now, but before it melts, I'm just really gonna focus on getting... Cool. What I'm gonna do now is I usually will take a picture on my phone and I'll also take a picture on my camera as well. Ooh, I like this already. This is really cute. And so what I wanna do is I wanna get varying lengths. I want it high, medium, and then I'll kind of bring it in nice and close in case I ever wanted to show details from what the acai bowl looks like. Cool. So now what I'm gonna do is, I know our juices are coming right now and I'll probably shoot that again, but for right now, just dial this in, have a little fun. Oh, this is really pretty. So we just finished our midday snack. I posted a photo on Instagram, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like right about now using the hashtags and the geotagging. JD actually snagged a pretty cool shot of me taking the shot. I'm more than happy to share the photos that we took here today so that you can use them and share them on social media if you'd like. Feel free to download it here at this link and we'll make sure that you are well taken care of. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope that you guys start geotagging and hashtagging with specificity sooner than later.